Hey everyone, I just wanted to hop on here real quick to talk to you really quick about how to build on social media. So most of you that know me know that I am kind of semi-retired and my focus is my husband and my little grandbaby. And so I'm not out in that networking world as much as I used to be anymore. And, um, but I still build my business and I was with the same company for almost 20 years. And now I have started the super patch joining with that company. And I just joined in September, September 13th, to be exact. And so I just hit my five month anniversary and I have mainly built on social media. And so everybody always asks me, like, how do you build on social media? And, you know, how do you connect with people? And I've done it um, for many years that way. And so I just want to go with you really quickly. I want to make this short and sweet. So that way it's not a super long training, but one thing you want to do is you want to build your friend list. So if you haven't done that, um, look at how many friends you have and work on building that. So think about, um, you can add people from, high school, from college, from growing up, connect with people. Um, you can um, think of groups that you're in or join other groups, whatever hobbies you have, join some groups that you have hobbies. So like I'm in some widow groups because I was that for eight years. Um, I am in homeschool groups because I used to homeschool. I'm in Christian mom groups. I'm now in some grandma groups. I'm in some Marine mom groups because I have my youngest is in the Marines. So just think of the different groups or the different hobbies or the different interests you have and join different groups for that. And then you know, don't spend a lot of time in there, right? I don't spend a lot of time on social media. I probably spend 15 to 30 minutes a day on social media. Sometimes it's off and on a couple times throughout the day though. Five minutes here, five minutes there. So you want to hop on and you want to check things. You want to like and comment on things. And with people in groups, you will notice some different things that people post and maybe you find someone that you kind of feel a little connection with. So then add them to your friend list. If they've seen your name and they've seen you interacting in the group and providing value in the group, then when you friend them and they see your name, they're gonna recognize it and they're gonna recognize it as you are someone that gives value. So then they'll accept that friendship. So then, with the testimonials, if you're following me on social media, you'll see that I post usually one a day. Sometimes I post more if I end up finding more, but um, I try to at least post one a day of a different testimonial that I think might attract somebody. So I post things to attract people to ask me rather than me having to go out and ask other people. I also, on my current friend list, I add five to 10 people a day into our instant results testimonial group because there's no links in that group. And that way people can be in that group. They can read the testimonials. I try to add testimonials in that every day. Also, you're welcome to add your own. I highly encourage you to add your own. So however the patches have helped you, you know, add your own testimonial in that group. So that way other people see that as well as share it on your page, but add it in the group. And, but the same thing, then as people see that on your page, then people that interact or ask you questions, add them to that group while you also give them the information. And so, and let them know that you've added them to the group so that way they can um, read more information about the different testimonials and you can tag them on whatever. So like if they said that they have Parkinson's or know somebody that does, then you can look up those testimonials in the group and then tag them under that post because maybe they don't know how to do a search in the group, right? So don't always assume that everybody knows how to do the searches. And if you know how, then make sure to tag them so that way it can help them and they can find it quickly. Um, but then also think of things of how you, you know, Facebook works on algorithms, right? And the more people that interact with you, 
the more they will see your posts. So one thing I do is I send everybody on my list a happy birthday message. I don't message them on their wall. I send them a happy birthday message and I might ask them something like, are you doing anything fun? What are you doing this week or this year or this month special for your birthday? Right. And so just ask them something kind of an open-ended question along with the birthday message. So that way they respond to you. Right. And then you want to respond back to them. Right. And it's not, you know, it does build your algorithms. And so when people respond to you in the messages and you are responding back to them, it's going to make them see your posts more. So that's a good thing, but you don't want to do it just for that. You want to also do it because you truly just want to build the relationship. Right. But when you do that, then it also does make them see the posts on your wall more. So, you know, like with me, I have over 10,000 followers. And so, you know, a lot of posts I don't see. So I reach out to them on their birthday. I message them, but I also glance at their wall. And so that way I can say something to them that maybe is kind of applicable to something that they posted. I also go on their page and like or comment on something so that way they see my name and my face, right? And I'm also, you know, they're on my friend list for a reason, right? So um, you want to keep that relationship going. You want to interact with them and you want to kind of, you know, you might not see everything every day, but at least a couple times a year you go through it. That's another thing that I've done too, is I've downloaded my whole friend and follower list on Facebook. And I try to go to five pages a day and I don't always make it every day, but some days I might do a few more too, but I go to a couple different pages and then I delete them. So that way I keep track. And so I'm going to everyone's page, you know, at least, and I might not even get 10,000 people. I don't always get through them all in one year even, but I do at least on their birthday. And then, and then I do that other thing too, where I just go through and I go to a couple a day and that way I'm just, I'm kind of still, because you friended them for a reason. So you want to keep that relationship going. So it's just something to reach out and have that personal touch. So you want to have that more and more with people to keep that relationship going, right? And when you do that, you're going to get a lot more interaction from your people on your posts. Now, with that said, a lot of people tell me, oh, I posted this and I didn't get any reactions. I didn't get any likes. I didn't get any loves. I didn't get any comments. Well, one, we can all help each other, right? Go to each other's page and like, comment, love a post, um, can do that, right? So we should do that for each other often, but also still don't worry about it because I get people all the time that will say to me, I'll meet them at whatever reason I'll see them at an event or whatever. And they will say, oh, hey, I saw this post that you did about blah, blah, blah. And, and I'll be like, oh, wow, I didn't even notice that you'd ever liked or commented or were even following any of my stuff. And I won't say that to them, but I think it, right? So you never know who's watching. So still keep posting, always post you know, something personal. So about yourself, about the kids, about the grandkids, about your life, your vacation, your dinners, um, post something motivational, spiritual, um, moral, something that will uplift someone and then post something about your business. Like one thing I love to do is I post the testimonials because that gets people's attention. And that's one of the biggest things that I've used to build my group. So my group is I hit our 46th person joined yesterday. So we are almost at 50 on our team. So congrats everyone. And most of that has been built on social media because I watch my grandbaby four days a week now, and I'm not out in the real world as much as I used to be. And so most of my interactions I do is through talking to people online and, um, and answering people's questions. And that is the biggest way that I've attracted people to ask me about it. And then I follow up with them. 
So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions or any comments, comment below the video. Um, always, you can always reach out to me as well, but comment below the video. So that way people in the group, um, you know, they might have the same question and I'll try to answer all of you at one time. And I'm gonna try to keep these short so that way they're beneficial to you. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.